Hi, this is Jessica Dunker with the Iowa Restaurant Association. We're here with our great friend, Linda Funk from the Soy Foods Council, and we are so excited because we are again featuring Mori New Tofu, which is soft silken, in salad dressings. Linda, what do you think we're gonna see? You know what, what's so fun is all the flavors that you can infuse into Morinu's soft silken tofu because it's really a blank slate. So they just add these incredible flavors and it just pops. Well, I can't wait, so let's get started. Hi everybody, I'm Chef Matt Drennan. Uh, I'm the senior partner here at the Fleming Steakhouse uh, in West Des Moines, Iowa. Um, so today we're gonna be uh, making uh, a creamy blue cheese dressing that's soy based. We're going to use um, our Mori New soft silken tofu um, to, to kind of make the base of the dressing. It's, it's something that's a very classic uh, steakhouse salad. You'll find it on almost any menu um, in, in a steakhouse, but some version of it usually. Um, but we wanted, I wanted to take it and do something that's a little different you know but still hit all the points of a classic uh classic steakhouse wedge so um so i'm gonna go through it we're gonna kind of show you where uh i s basically substituted uh the soft silken tofu for for a lot of the cream and and the the heavy products that make a blue cheese dressing uh what it is and so you know when you do that it really makes the the dressing lighter it's better calories uh, less saturated fats uh, so it's really just kind of a healthier option but you're not going to miss any of your flavor and that's really what we're looking for today um, so we're going to get into that um, a little background on myself i've been here with flemings uh, going on 12 years um, not all as a, as a chef partner but moved up my way through the ranks um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, our soft silken tofu and the reason that we use soft silken tofu versus the extra firm, when we're going to puree this down and if we were to use the, the firm tofu, it wouldn't, it would leave kind of a grainy texture. So really when you're going to start subbing things out for other, you know, tofu in or soy products in, make sure you do your research and figure out which one's probably the best product to use, uh, use for this application. So this one, like you can kind of see here, you know, it breaks pretty easily, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty soft. And, and that is gonna work to our advantage when it, comes to, um, when it comes to getting the dressing nice and smooth and creamy. So, um, you know, you could probably do it with the extra firm tofu, it's just gonna take a little more work and, and probably not get that consistency that you're looking for. So if you had to in a pinch, it does work. But, um, but if you if you can, you can find the soft silken tofu. Um, really, wherever your grocer has probably like a health market somewhere in that refrigerated section, more than likely. But you could always ask somebody; they'd be probably more than help, more than happy to help you find it. So, um, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our soft silken tofu. We're gonna put it into this food processor. And it's okay if it breaks up because we're gonna puree it anyways. And so then we're gonna take it. We're gonna puree it for about 10, 15 seconds till it's, till it's nice and smooth. Um, then we get that, start to get that nice creamy texture to start with. So um, it's just kind of starting to get there now. So um, now we're gonna add pretty much the rest of our ingredients, which this is why with this even, it's a super easy uh, salad dressing to make. And you know, you could probably make it uh you got friends over during the summer you're cooking steaks you make this it'll hold for for quite a while and it's uh it's going to be something that'll impress your friends so um so first we're going to add it's a cup of mayonnaise and about an ounce of sour cream which for most people at home is just like what they would probably consider a dollop of sour cream and then we're going to add a half a cup of buttermilk an ounce of red wine vinegar and then I've got about three quarters of an ounce of sugar um, a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt now obviously we didn't add the blue cheese in yet we're gonna do that last and I'll tell you why here in a second uh, but we're gonna blend this up 
get it all mixed together nice and smooth for about 20 seconds. Using a food processor, it'll blend really quickly. So it doesn't take too much time at all. So right now, you know, we blended the dairy and the soy together and it, it really just works well together. It's, it's, uh, it's like they've been best friends for years. Um, so this last part, you have two options. I'm gonna do it in the food processor just really quick, just to mix it in. But we're actually gonna mix in um, four ounces of crumbled blue cheese. Uh, this is a Danish blue cheese, so it, it has that really full flavored uh, cheese, uh, blue cheese flavor to it. So, it, but it works just beautifully with with this. So, um, but you could also just take this, put it in a bowl, and mix in your blue cheese, so it doesn't. You want to keep the crumbles the best you can because that's that nice uh, consistency with the rest of the with the rest of the dressing. So, let's do this. Give it a couple pulses here just enough to mix it in but not break it up and as you can kind of see now we've got our finished product which is nice lovely blue cheese and then we'll get to all the fun steakhouse stuff so what I did here is I've got it's about a third of a head of iceberg lettuce but so I'm just gonna ladle a couple ounces well spoon a couple ounces of the dressing over the top and yeah, if you're like me, more is better. <laughs> we're, we're still in the Midwest, so that's okay. Um, and then I'm, I'm gonna put some additional blue cheese crumbles on there, which I think really just kind of makes it pop. And like I said before, when you put soy and dairy together, it's, it's like a match made in heaven. And then uh, we've got some nice half cut Campari tomatoes. So Campari tomatoes, Again, one of those you can find at the grocery store. Really nice sweet tomato, great for salads. Um, and just really, another, again, another nice product. Some raw julienne red onions. And then finish it off with our best friend bacon. And you've got yourself a, a, cla a, a classic steakhouse wedge.
is water packed as well. Yeah. So today we're using the soft silken tofu versus the water packed uh, tofu, and that is mainly we chose that. I chose that product for um, for the texture because when when we go through and make it into a sauce or a dressing like we're doing today, uh, it'll the the water pack will leave more of a grainy texture, which is isn't terrible, but it's not what we're exactly looking for today. So um, so today we're using the Morinu soft silken tofu uh, to make our blue cheese dressing. Awesome. Good? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, so 